Hello and welcome to today's lesson, Potential and Kinetic Energy, in particular, Gravitational Potential Energy. So this is the uh, learning objectives for today. There's three learning objectives. Uh, know and use the relationship of gravitational potential energy equals mass times gravity times height. And know and use the relationship of kinetic energy equals half the mass of an object times its speed squared. And then understand how the conservation of energy produces a link between the gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, and work. So first, we'll look at gravitational potential energy, GPE. So it's the energy stored in an object when work is done in moving an object upwards. Okay, so here we do, we're doing work, we're applying a force, a push force, up, okay, and it's going to move a distance, and now that laser pointer has gravitational potential energy. So GPE is measured in joules, mass is measured in kilograms, and the gravitational field strength G is measured in newtons per kilogram. And finally, height H is measured in meters m. So GPE equals mgh. And kinetic energy is the energy of movement. Okay, it's basically the energy an object has because it has mass and a velocity or speed. And kinetic energy from the equation is half mv squared, where Ke is the kinetic energy in joules because it's energy. Mass is measured in kilograms, and the speed v, velocity v, which are interchangeable, are uh, in meters per second. So when we look at falling objects, there is no if there is no significant uh, air resistance, there is a conservation of energy. And this results in all the gravitational potential energy being converted into kinetic energy as the object falls. Okay, so for our laser pointer, as if I let it go for free, okay, it would fall, and as it fell, it would of course gain velocity and have a mass. So all the gravitational potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. Okay, so the gain in kinetic energy will equal the loss in gravitational potential energy. So finally, these are the graphs of gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. So you can see at the start, before the object is dropped, the gravitational potential energy is a maximum, and the total energy will be equal to the gravitational potential energy plus the kinetic energy. So at the top, where it's here, gravitational potential energy will be at a maximum, and then when it falls at the bottom, the gravitational potential energy will be a minimum, it will be zero. So as it falls, gravitational potential energy moves towards zero, and, and kinetic energy moves towards a maximum. And that is today's lesson.